Today we're going to go over the best settings for the max frame and quality with an AMD GPU and an AMD CPU. This will also give you the best frames if you have an RTX card as well. First thing I'm going to do is grab the config file that's in the description. These have preloaded the best settings in game except for a couple which are cloud based which we'll go over. First you're going to go to file explorer and you're going to go to documents. You're going to grab this Call of Duty folder here and drag it in to there. Now that's going to copy in the new config file. Right then we're going to open it up. It's options.4.cod.23. Right then in here we're going to look at the thread count for handling the job queue. Now this is your render work count. Now this is what you're going to do. You're going to set it to one less than your current core count. So to find out your core count, you go right click on your um, bottom bar there and you go to your task manager. And you go to performance, you're going to go down to your CPU. And then down here it says cores. Now I've got eight cores, so I'm going to set my render work count seven and for most of you for 90 percent of you seven is going to be the magic number but if you want to try also you can go one less than your current uh, cores and try uh, if you've got 16 you can try 15 and do a little test to see what's better and what has better frames for you all right we're going to close out of that all right we're going to jump into the game now all right so jump into your graphics settings and you're going to go down to restart shaders preloading now you're going to click on that and then you're going to restart your game all right, so first things first, we're going to go into account and network. And we're going to turn off dismemberment and gore effects. Now let's choose a lot of your GPU uh, usage and essentially your frame. So we're going to turn that off. Next, we're going to go up to interface. We're going to set uh, the crosshairs to static. Now this also does help with your frames. Um, it just seems to work best at static. For the audio, I like to run the PC speaker. I also run loudness equalization. Uh, to do that, you go to your little settings cog. Sound settings. Uh, if you're on Windows 11, go to more sound settings. You're going to go find your uh, basically your output source. So mine's my game from my Go XLR. Go to properties, go to enhancements, and turn on loudness equalization. Then you go to your settings and you turn that one just down just to about there. And that seems to be the perfect little sweet spot for the footsteps. All right, onto the graphics now, make sure you're set at, uh, I prefer borderless, but it doesn't seem to have too much difference. Some people want um, just full screen exclusive, um, which seems to be fine. I honestly don't notice too many frame drops out of using borderless. I'm streamer, so I use three screens. I like to tab out quite a lot. Uh, make sure it's on your monitor, make sure it's on your uh, graphics card and your refresh rate's also set to what your monitor refresh rate is. Uh, if you're running to it, uh, 1440, make sure it's set to 4040, 1080, make sure it's sitting at 1080. If it's locked for you, just go to exclusive and then change it here. Then you can go back to borderless. Uh, and then from there, pretty much everything's the same as it should be from config file. Make sure that, you know, frame rate limits are unlimited and your HDR is off. If for competitive games, HDR off is a lot better. Uh, into the quality here, we've got it set to 100, dynamic resolution off. A sharpening now this is something that will not be set in the config file so make sure if you want the best sharpness turn it on fidelity cast set it to 100. all right from there you got your texture resolution now if you've got a lower end amd or a lower end uh, rtx card make sure you set that to sort of low or very low to get the max frames if you're on a sort of higher card set it to high if you want that better quality better look uh, same with the texture filter and dystropic set it to low if you are uh, on a lower card or high if you're on a higher card Personally, I prefer the frames. I want to go for low and very low. Uh, this is a big one that will actually be on after the config file on demand texture trimming. Make sure you turn that off. You don't want it um, running or taking up any extra resources while you're running your game. All right, over to the view tab. Now, this is all personal preference. Well, I run 120 FOV. Make sure your weapon field of view is set to wide. It gives you the more appearance that you have a wider FOV. Make sure that's on. And then make sure also that the motion blurs, the weapon motion blurs, all that nonsense is turned off. You don't need it on. At least 50 for your first person and third person camera movement as well. Now, if you want to run a benchmark for yourself in game, you just go to the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 tab, go across to Private Match, and select Benchmark. For one last time, I'm going to go through the settings just so you make sure you have them there visual as well. So we're going to, this is the display section. Just pause the video, take a screenshot if you need to. If you want to turn your brightness up, go for gold. Quality. Pretty much everything low and off is the go. And the view tab. All right, guys, if you enjoyed it, please make sure you like and subscribe and follow on kick.com slash aim here for those live streams. See you in the next one.